guys. Another episode of unboxing the wireless neck bands and headphones. And today we're going to unbox the ch our cheapest on the list, but they have over 6,000 reviews that are almost excellent. Over four stars on these. These are the Impal, Impal Jaws headphones, uh, Bluetooth 4.1. 13 hours of playback talking time, uh, standby time of 350 hours, and a charging time of three hours. So let's get into this box and see exactly what you get for 30 bucks. All right. So the first thing you do when you open this is you have a hard case. I like that, a hard case. So $30 and you already are beating the Sony WI-1000Xs with a hard case. So let's open these up here. See what all they come with. So you got a cute little pouch. Got your uh, instructions of how to pair, how they work, um, the important prompt product card, and then we got a little box of probably earbuds, extra earbuds. I don't, I don't know. Let's find out. You got a little box of yep, some uh, extra earbuds. Looks like two, a small and a large in this bag, and then a charger, which is also a mini USB, USB to mini USB. Uh, so yeah, and then you've got the headphones. And these are, wow, they're real flimsy. Very flimsy, but they go right back. So you can bend them all the way up and they still go right back. So then you got some uh, wires dangling here and you've got a little thing that you can twist around or you can move this up the headset or down the headset to adjust where you want the wires to actually be, which is a good thing. Um, I like that the buttons are up here. You can feel them. They stick up so you can feel them and nice clicking to them. Uh, you got your play, your rewind. That's, that's nice. And then uh, these are magnetic. So when you go to remove them, you pull them out, put them in your ear and then they're magnetic and slide right back in, which is a, a great thing because they hold in place and the magnets are pretty good on them, actually. <laughs> Real good. So uh, yeah, that's what you get in the box. And so far, so good. The, the only thing I really don't like about them so far is it looks like these are gonna get in the way a lot. Um, but if you're a, a jogger or something like that, then hey, these may work great for you. Uh, we'll see how well they work. Put them in our ear, actually, listening to them, see how they feel, and things like that. But so far, so good. So let's move on. All right, guys, so you got your uh, on off button on the side here, which is cool. You just, instead of pressing and holding something down, you literally just press it and it vibrates to tell you that it's on. And then when you turn it off, it vibrates one long time and when you turn it on, it vibrates twice. So you know that it's on or off. And then you have your play button right here on this side. So if you're wearing them, it's right here on the side. You got your forward and reverse to switch your songs. Then over here, you have your volume up and down. Then you've got your headphones, which seem kind of like, uh, you would think it'd take a minute to get used to, but it, I guess it really don't. Um, yeah, once they come out of your ear and you grab it right, they, they throw right in there right. once you're used to it. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the, the magnets are strong on these, too. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, all right, guys. So, call quality on these <clears throat> amazed us both, I think. Um, they're, they're fairly great call quality. Um, I was crystal clear to him, and on the other end of the line, listening to him, having the headphones on <laughs> and me breaking them. Um, <laughs> I didn't break them, but uh, um, with him having the headphones on, they were 
they were decent. Like it, he sounded, the best way to explain it, I guess, would be uh, you can tell that he's in an open area, but he's really not echoey. And he sounds like he's actually right here talking, um, not distant. So, so the call quality on these were real good and they, they're actually pretty comfortable. I like the simplicity of the on off button. The controls are where they're supposed to be. The the way it fits around your neck, it feels like it's not yeah. there. I mean, oh, it really don't. I mean, and you can bend it all the way out. <laughs> it's super it, light. It goes right back. Yeah, it's super light. It's real light. It is real light. You can tell. I mean, it's you can tell it's plasticky. Like you can tell it it's plasticky. But for thirty bucks, yeah, I would buy these all day for thirty dollars. Yep. Um, Sound quality wise, they have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of mid and highs. Uh, your, your your treble and your your uh, mids are up there. Your bass, not so much. You don't get a lot of bass. Yeah, these things uh, are screaming on the high end. Screaming on the high end. So uh, overall, guys, for thirty bucks for what all you get, I mean, uh, you even get a hard case with these things. Yeah, really nice case. I would I would buy these all day long for thirty dollars. If you don't really care about bass, a lot of bass anyway, like these have barely any bass. So if you don't care about a lot of bass and you're looking for a headset that's loud, that's uh, comfortable, and that's you can just who cares with what you do, these are them twenty seven dollars and something on Amazon, and. Uh, they're great. Call quality is great. I mean, these things are phenomenal for thirty bucks. For thirty bucks, they are. Yeah. You you definitely can't go wrong with uh, a thirty dollar set of headphones. And there's a reason why they got over six sixty four hundred reviews of four point four stars or so. I mean, they're absolutely. You can you can bend the crap out of them and look, they literally go right back. So uh, durability, I'm not sure if you dropped them too much, how well this plastic would hold up, but- They do feel like $30. They, oh yeah, they, they definitely feel like $30. They sound like $30, but they're, they're really not, to mm. be as trebly as they are, they're really not distorted as bad as I thought they would be. They're louder than $30 though. They are definitely, you do get a lot for 30 bucks <laughs> with the sound of these. They are loud, uh, but no, with no bass. Um, they got a little bit of bass, but I would I would definitely say hardly any. Um, you can tell. You can definitely tell they're trebled and mitted out, <coughs> at least up there. So, guys, if you have any questions about these 30 buck headphones, let us know. Probably gonna end up doing a giveaway of these. And uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we ain't, we ain't did nothing with them. Test them out. Uh, so we'll probably end up giving a pair of these away. So. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Got any questions, comment down below. Tell us your thoughts on $30 pair of headphones. So uh, see you in the next one.